Are you still out there? Hello? Oh, good. Communication. Would you like me to give you your watch back? Well, I'm not going to, Carly or Molly or whoever you are. I'm going to use your watch and I'm going to find out who you are and then you're going to wish you were never born. You'd think they'd at least allow a visit from a parent, but no, the warden was very firm. That's why it meant so much for your son to, to see Allison firsthand. At least for a moment, I can, I can just stop thinking the worst. That still doesn't explain how Chris got the detention center to bend the rules for him. Hey, uh, can we talk about this later? I've got to run downstairs to grab an extra. Sure, listen, why don't you come to my office when you're done? I'm, I'm just kind of curious to know uh, what strings you had to pull to see Alice. I'll check back with you first chance I get. Listen, have you uh, given any thought to the conversation we had earlier? Oh, Bob, I I'm sorry, but I don't think I can make it. Susan, you've been booked to this conference for three months now. I know, I know, but that was before my daughter wound up in jail. I know, I know, and I know you're upset about Alice, but you can't see her for a month. Listen, maybe it'd do you some good if you can get away for a while. But what if something happens? Emily will have to handle it all by herself. I think they still have phones in our land. <laughs> if there's an emergency, you can go home. I guess you've already assigned people to cover my shifts. Of course. Look, if it makes you feel any better, it's work, Susan. Not pleasure. <laughs> oh. Okay, then, uh, guess I'll go to the conference. That's the spirit. Listen, it's just for a few days, and who knows, maybe a change of scene will make the time go faster, and you can see, Alice. This has happened to me before. The doctor who treated me works at a hospital close by. Do, do you think that you could call him? If it gets any worse, I'll call a local MD. No, but, but my doctor knows me. He knows my medical history. Isn't that better than just calling some doctor who doesn't even know who I am? His name is Chris Hughes. He works at Oakdale Memorial. Could you just please call him? Tell him that I have to see him really quick. If he doesn't get here really quick, then there's a chance that I could die. I am doing my best to respect your feelings concerning Aaron, but I will not allow you to come into my house and start issuing me ultimatums. I don't doubt that Craig will be very happy to see his daughter walking again, but he will never give Aaron credit for that. That's why you have to tell Craig now so that... Aaron can know where he stands. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. Okay, fine. Then I will tell him myself. Well, that would be a monumental mistake. Why? Because Aaron and Lucy have been building towards this moment for months. In their innocent hearts, they see it as the perfect expression of their devotion towards each other. If you take that away, Aaron might never forgive. I just hope Aaron doesn't get hurt too badly. I think it will be the best for all of us. You know, I can't tell you how to deal with Craig, but I can tell you this much. Lying and keeping secrets, it's never good for a marriage. <sighs> what do you call a secret? I call the most beautiful wedding gift I could possibly give my new husband. I hope so. For your sake, Rosanna, because I have to tell you, <laughs> it's one hell of a way to start a marriage. I'll see you. I am. I was just leaving. I'd like to know what you're doing here. Uh, Craig was just bringing me a present. <laughs> Look with the baby. Isn't that cute? It's going to be quite a while before that baby comes. What's the rush? It was an impulse. I saw this cuddly little bundle of fluff, <laughs> and next thing I knew, I was in my car. Cuddly and fluffy's not your style, my friend. <laughs> Something's going on between the two of you, and I don't like it. One little bit. already sick of me and I've sealed the deal. That was the least of your problems. You have 24 hours. What? No, 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 no. 
no, you can't do that to me. That is way too much pressure. You won't if you have time to feel it. You get to work. I got to tell Rosanna that you're about to save the day. What? Right? Wait, wait. You're telling me that Rosanna doesn't even know that I've taken over designing after Rosa Trust after, after Barbara disappeared? Trust me on the timing, this. Okay, the more her anxiety has a chance to build, the more receptive she will be to the idea. Or she won't even look at my designs and I will have wasted the last two days. That is not going to happen. All right, Rosanna will see what you've done, she will fall in love with it, and she will realize what a mistake she made by letting Barbara within a buttonhole of this company. Okay, come on, this line is so close, do not falter. You have to come through for all of us. Chris, you looking for me? Uh, yeah, you wanted to speak to me about my seeing Alison Stewart. No, I wanted you to speak to me about it. How did you manage to get permission to see her? I told the matron at the prison that I was Alison's doctor. <sighs> That's what I was afraid of. Are you out of your mind? As an intern, your license to practice medicine doesn't extend beyond this hospital. She was really upset. Alison needed to see a friendly face, and I was the only one that could get in. Her emotional condition does not change the law. You could have been arrested. You could be fined. I know I was wrong, but Emily was going out of her mind, and I just couldn't tell her no. I'm not questioning your intentions. They're usually good. But listen, if you do something like this again, it's got to go in your file, and that means it'll be on your record. You really do that? Don't test me, son. That, it would end my career. No one would hire me. But that's what you got to think about. I'll start following the rules. All of the rules. I'm serious, Chris. No more medical visits to Allison Stewart. She's not in Milan, Hal. I checked with every contact I know in the fashion business over there, and she is nowhere to be found. Well... You ask me, she's somewhere she doesn't need to be. I think we need to accept that. There's no record of her passport being used, so you're probably right about her not being right? in the law. Exactly. That letter was a fake. Somebody wants to make sure we don't look for her. So that leaves us with what? Somebody either arranged to have Barbara kidnapped or did it themselves. Craig Montgomery. He was my first instinct when I saw she wasn't at the meeting. Craig Montgomery would take the eyes out of your head for a buck, but kidnapping? No, no, he okay. doesn't have the stomach. All right, then, who did it? Where is she? You got somebody else in mind? No, nope. I'm going to stay on this until I do. All right, now. <laughs> Prepare to be amazed. Ugh. letter from Barbara. She's in Milan? What for? Well, I can't say I know for sure. Ever. 